let's talk about how to start a trash pickup business. So I'm just, we are speaking about garbage collection here or waste collection business. So here's an overview I want you to really pay attention to. When you think about garbage collection, you, you are looking at 50 to $75 billion every single year. I mean, this is a big, this is a big industry that's been growing like crazy for the last five to 10 years. So you, you have a lot of opportunities when you, when you're thinking about uh, starting a waste disposal business. The, the thing is that you need to understand that this is an industry that's constantly been, uh, been challenged by the, some, uh, some factors. And first of all, you have strict business regulations. You have high startup and operational cost. You have increasing competition. You have inefficient business operations. So as you are actually embarking on this trip to actually open uh, a uh, trash pickup business, you need to understand that this industry is highly regulated. Okay, there are lots of regulations on waste management as governments around the world wants to be more aware of their waste. So not only in the states here, but we also have like if you go to Canada, for instance, you have similar similar regulations. Okay, and it's all about uh, like everything revolves around hazmat. So you, you want to think about uh, hazmat and also uh, collections that revolves around healthcare facilities, among other things. And also, uh, you, you have to account for high startup and operational cost in terms of, uh, let, let's say, uh, think about like software, for instance, but also the cars, the like not the cars, the vehicles you have to actually buy because you, you need special trucks to uh, sort of uh, collect waste. You need to also think about the staff you need to, uh, to, to hire. And there, there is increasing competition, especially in big cities like uh, LA or New York or, or Chicago. You have a lot of competition. Now, if you are in a smaller city, you may you may have uh, like less competition. But it's always about uh, having efficient business oper operations. It's all about really automating things that need to be out to automate. But long story short, waste management business is a profitable business. It's a really profitable business. You just have to set things right, set things up the right way. And uh, depending on your your specialization and services, the cost to start a waste management company can vary greatly. And uh, so regardless of the, spe the specialization that you choose, it's going to be expensive business when it comes to uh, things like the truck, for instance, when it comes to uh, the uh, the software, you need to run everything to, to run the routes, to run the, the uh, task allocation to your staff. Boss. Welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Let me give you now the steps that you need to follow if you are trying to really, uh, let's say, start a waste collection business. First of all, you need to choose an, a waste industry sector. So when we talk about... Uh, the waste business in general you got to be specific okay because different industries require different types of waste management some of these industries are medical construction electronic green animal pet industrial and nuclear so when we talk about medical for instance you have waste from uh, waste from uh, healthcare facilities such as nur nursing facilities dental offices hospitals and vet clinics for construction, you have waste generated by uh, like construction sites, often containing hazmats such as paint, asbestos, you have plaster and other elements that require specialized removal. And electronic waste is also important because discarded electronic devices such as household appliances, lamps, toys, computers, medical devices, batteries, they all need to be, uh, to be recycled and to be, uh, to be disposed of. And you also have organic waste when it comes to uh, green. This can be uh, can actually be composted, such as garden and yard clippings. You also have industrial, so material waste from factories, mines, and, and mills. And those are oftentimes uh, hazmats, and they require specialized removal, okay? And also, this is important. And uh, so, first thing first, you need to pick a, a specialization so that you are basically, uh, like, you, you have to niche down. And then you have to analyze the market. So analyzing the market not only allows you to check for a competition, but also allows you to do what? To spot, to spot the market gaps. Because if there are market gaps, there's an opportunity for you to invest. So when you spot any market gap, this allows you to target your services to the audience in a much better manner and uh, get more, get you more clients than you want, uh, like that want the market gap resolved, right? It's all about having a pain point resolved. It's all about you bringing a solution to the market. And it's one of those things where you have to be clear. So, okay, 
go back again and look at the niches medical construction electronic green animal pets industrial nuclear whatever really uh rocks your boat go with one and do re do extra research on that on that sector plus i want to quickly remind you of today's topic we are having a conversation about how to start a waste collection business The next thing you want to do here is to craft a simple business plan. So basically, uh, the plan, the business plan should be based on uh, the niche that you had, you identify in the in the earlier step. Okay, and every, every business needs to start with a solid business plan. And so you want to sit down and you want to write out your goals and plans. You can actually uh, to this will save you a lot of frustrations down the road. Okay, and so and, and the cool thing is you also have a document that you can reference to make sure your business is on, is on track. And you're heading in the right direction as it grows right so some questions you want to consider when crafting your waste management business plan how is your business structure is it a sole proprietorship a partnership an llc incorporated what do you want to have okay what are the tangible goals and, and objectives that your waste uh, management business wants to uh, to pursue who is your target your target customer and what specific problem are you helping them solve do you have any competitor in your particular industry how is your service different or better? And uh, what does your uh, your pricing look like in comparison with other waste collection and management businesses? Okay. And how will you market and grow your business? And what do your startup costs look like? So you got to have a clear idea about, about those things because they will help you actually uh, like start paying attention to your budget, to your business budget from the get-go. Step number three, you actually need to register your business and obtain the proper permits. So once you have chosen your industry and written up a business plan, it's time to make your waste management business official. So you want to check your state and local government regulations to see which permits you'll need to operate your waste collection business on both a legal and operational level. A level. So depending on the structure of your business, you may first need to register your business with, with the local, state and federal government. At the very least, you will need to obtain an employer identification number, an EIN from the IRS, to keep track of tax information. Then you need to also consult your local and state environmental and waste industries for what permits you might need to transport waste and use the appropriate landfills and waste management facilities. Okay, this is kind of important. And let me give you an example. California, for example, requires medical waste transporters to register with the California Department of Public Health, obtain a uh, hazardous waste registration certificate and carry liability insurance okay and on the other side of the country new york requires construction debris haulers to obtain a license from the city and a waste transporter permit from the state they also need to obtain a registration for the removal of construction and demolition debris so don't make the mistake of skipping this critical step because the quickest way to send your new business to the dump is to run it illegally Next thing you want to do is if you want to actually start a waste collection uh, business, you need to purchase the necessary equipment. And it, we're not just talking about the, 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 the truck only, okay? You don't need to own a huge trash truck to run a successful waste collection business. As long as you have uh, a mid to full size van or pickup truck, you are in business. However, depending on the industry you choose or the industry you want to, you want to serve, consider additional equipment to help you easily and safely get the job done it, it's all about getting the job done in uh in uh, in safety though so let me give you a quick list of some additional gear gear you may want to invest in before you start you want to have like heavy duty gloves safety glasses earplugs masks respirators you want to think about shovels rakes hand saws brooms and dustpans you want to have a uh, trash bags and cans dumpster and, and compactor cleaning and sanitation equipment and a vehicle maintenance kit because the last thing you want is to uh, get to your pickup site and not to actually get to a pickup site and not have the right gear on hand always take an inventory of what each route or work site will require then plan accordingly the next thing you want to do this is step number five you want to look for investments so after analyzing the market and waste management the businesses are quick to look for investments because the waste management industry is one of the one of the most uh, capital intensive businesses okay so when you have investors on board your waste collection business can uh, quickly level up its operational efficiency 
And uh, so these investments can be diverted to either the acquisition of better equipment or talent for the company to either meet or exceed local regulations. It can also be diverted to marketing to gain more clients or a software solution that boosts operational efficiency for your business, for your waste management business. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about uh, how to start a waste collection uh, business. Number six, you want to advertise your waste collection business. So the, the thing is that if you don't have customers, your waste management business will stay in the dumps, right? Literally. So you want to grow your customer base with a solid online presence and in-person networking. And so when we talk about building an, a solid online presence, we're talking about your website, for instance, your Google My Business listing, your social media platforms, your paid advertising. Those are critical for your business success. And so when we talk about you actually building out a solid online presence, you want to use a, a website builder like uh, like Wix or GoDaddy uh, Builder, or you want to use, uh, you can use also, uh, like it really, it really doesn't matter. But what you want to do is you want to really quickly create a professional website without having to hire a web designer or know a bit of code. And then you want to set up a Google My Business page and to place your business on the map and show up in local online search listings, remember to keep your name, address, and phone number consistent on all your digital platforms. You want to create a Facebook business page to start building a professional vibe around your business. And finally, consider using paid advertising like Google Ads and Facebook Ads to quickly get your new waste collection business in front of relevant audiences. So you want to build a solid online presence, but you also want to shake hands with customers and local businesses. So in-person networking is a really a surefire way to drum up business for your new waste management business. And you want to pay attention to things like uh, you want to like design business cards and flyers that you can uh, hand out to prospective customers whenever you get the chance. Then depending on the industry you, cho you, uh, you chose earlier, you want to target local businesses that would benefit from your services and connect with them in person as well. So even if those businesses don't hire you now, leaving a, leaving a personal positive impression will put you at the top of their minds in the future. It's all about building a relationship first and then parlaying that relationship into business revenue. Okay, so you take the time to actually uh, network with folks. Don't don't just uh, spend your time managing your waste management uh, business. No, you gotta really build relationships. Also, the next thing you want to do here is to plan the most efficient routes for your waste collection team. Right? I mean, obviously, you are going to hire great folks, competent folks, but you, if you don't give them like the, uh, the tools that they need to actually, uh, perform, you are really, uh, wasting a lot of cash. And the thing is that, you know, as you look at the maps to figure out the most efficient route for waste pickups and landfill runs, you must start scratching your head, wondering which route is the best. Plus every new customer who signs up means you have to revisit the map and rework the route. So why not let software plan out the perfect, the perfect route instead, okay? And basically what you want to do is you want to have software that addresses uh, all the gaps and uh, instantly receive the most time and cost-effective pickup and drop-off routes for you and your entire team. And by implementing route optimization software into your operations early on, you are all set to expand and scale your business. And with route optimization software, you can route hundreds of stops for a large fleet without spending much more, much more time planning. And this is kind of important, okay? And uh, it's one of those things where you have to really understand what, what's really important for you. Where do your team, where does your team usually spend time, okay? And it's all about having like a, you you want to have uh, the best, the best uh, itineraries for your team. You want to have proof of service, which really let drivers take and upload on-site photos of uh, finished jobs, for instance. You want to have a last minute uh, change uh, functions that let you seamlessly add or subtract addresses and instantly update your routes. So this is kind of cool. Next thing you want to do is you want to hire a qualified staff. Okay. And it's one of those things that you need to understand. Since there are so many rules and regulations that affect a waste management company, it becomes increasingly important 
to hire qualified staff to handle operations. So hiring such quality staff will ensure that you comply with the regulations posed on waste uh, management uh, upgrade, uh, waste, waste removal operations. And employees are also the primary link between your business and your customers. So hiring the right employees will also result in better customer experiences. And that's what you need anyway. They might also be able to conduct faster operations, allowing you to cater to more customers for the same resources. Number nine, you want to market your business, right? Earlier, I was just talking to you about uh, Google My Business and websites. Now you have to start doing a little bit of uh, advertising. Business promotion is very overlooked in this line of work, though it's of paramount importance in the modern digital world for a bigger customer base. It's all about you increasing your waste management uh, business base. So advertising your waste services is actually the best way to gain new clients as fast as possible. Some waste management companies have been able to, to attract new clients from the most remote regions thanks to a good marketing. And marketing also allows you to reach out to a wider audience and allows customers to find your business quite easily, okay? And of course, in this uh, in this continuum, for instance, Google My Business is a great plays a great part here. And uh, so number 10, what you want to do is you want to also implement innovative ideas. It's all about innovation, okay? If you want to actually uh, start a profitable waste management uh, business, you have to constantly innovate. You have to constantly look at what's really happening here, how you can change things, how you can improve things. And clients will, uh, will, will actually, see, innovation is actually a win-win for both you and your clients. It's great for you because you're, you're actually uh, instilling, I would say, uh, efficiency into the whole process but if you, it, but it, so which means what? It means that you are saving money, you are doing tests faster, and you can actually get more clients for the for the, for for you also. So the thing is that you need to understand that for you to actually implement innovative ideas, you need to really make sure that you are communicating with with the clients also. So the clients also want to be able, be able to communicate to you all the innovation they can think of, so that you can actually deliver their. You can actually collect their waste, their uh, yeah, their waste in time. Okay, and when we talk about innovation, it can be as simple or sophisticated, depending upon your 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 budget. But it can be uh, as simple as uh, making current processes more efficient, and uh, such innovation will allow you to not only market your services better to your customers, but also uh, to competitively price yourself. And competition is one of the biggest challenges in this industry. And it's best to really get an advantage over your, your competition for that reason, okay? And again, anything you can say, you can even uh, take uh, software to sort of help you out. It's this really great. So long story short, for you to have a, a great garbage collection uh, business, you need to follow the 10 steps that I just, that I just gave you in and out. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Let's do a quick recap of today's conversation. So I was just sharing with you how to start a trash pickup business. I gave you the overview and then uh, I gave you all the steps you need to really follow to really make you to really make a successful trash pickup business. Choose a waste industry sector, craft a simple business plan. You want to register your business and obtain the proper permits. You want to purchase the necessary equipment. You want to really uh, lower, you want to look for investments. You want to advertise your waste collection business. You want to plan the most efficient routes for your waste collection team. You really want to really hire qualified staff. You want to market your business. And you want to implement innovative ideas. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.